My father was a polygamist with four wives, nine children. I grew up in that atmosphere where we played together, fought against one another, but ate from one dish. We grew up in the felt, looking after stock, sheep, goats, horses, and cattle. Also, during the day, we do all sorts of things. You hunt rabbits, birds. One of our favorite pastimes was uh, stick fighting. You have one stick on the left hand to parry the blows from the other boys. And then on the right hand, a stick to hit with. My mother, she was my first friend in the proper sense of the word. She was not uh, an emotional person. She was completely controlled, calm, at peace with herself and with the world. And I had a great deal of respect for her. When I went to school, the lady teacher, Miss Mdingane, asked, what is your name? I told him my African name, Khodiklas. Uh, he says, no, I don't want that one. You must have a Christian name. So I say, no, I don't have one. She says, you are from today, you are going to be Nelson. That's how I earned the name Nelson, not given by my parents. The regent, David Dalenyogo, brought me to his place so that he could bring me up. He brought me up as his own child. He wanted me to be the chief counselor to the king. That was what I was groomed for. I grew up in an encounter. This was the royal court, the king's court. So you were dealing with elders of the tribe who were experts in tribal custom and law. As a boy, I would bring food to them. It was from them that I heard about the battles of olden time. The battles that were fought from the Fish River by the Corsairs. The series of wars over 100 years. Our people fighting with spears against gunpowder. I was 16 years of age when we were taken to the circumcision school. We discarded our clothing and we were instructed to sit on new blankets with our legs open. And I heard the first boy saying, Ndeindota, I am a man. Which is what you're supposed to say the moment the expert has cut your foreskin. It is an osagai, a spear, not sterilized, no anesthetic. And uh, before I was aware of it, the operation was over. The pain had gone right into my bones, into my marrow. And uh, as this uh, operation is being conducted, the men are looking very carefully in your face to see what your reaction is going to be. Because uh, when you say, I am a man, uh, they wanted to see it themselves. Uh, the body language must also say so. And uh, I must confess that uh, the pain uh, paralyzed me momentarily. And I was not as forthright and strong as the other boys uh, that preceded me. Their hearts, they destroy by fire. You have buried 
your childhood. You have entered now the face of a man, a very outstanding speech was made by the brother of the king, uh, Chief Melikwile. He addressed us and said, what a pleasure to see such young men who are now going to handle the affairs of the tribe. Nevertheless, we expect that now that you are men, you will fight for the liberation of your people from the bondage which has been cast upon us by the white men. As when I was in Hilltown, that uh, the poet Mkai visited the institution. And in the course of reciting, he called all the nations of the world to come before him because he was going to divide the stars. And he says, you Europeans, the English, the Germans, the French, I give you the constellation because it is the largest group of stars in creation. I am giving you this group of stars because you are greedy nations. You quarrel over plenty. You have started wars which have caused brought suffering and grief to millions of people throughout the world. Then he called the nations of Asia and Africa. And at the end of it, he says, now you come, house of Tosa.